Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen with Fusion Pilates, and today I'm going to talk about how we sometimes bypass using our muscles and go into hanging out in our joints. And a lot of times we do that when we're in hand, hands and knees position, so when you're in quadruped. So some things to pay attention to is what's going on with, from the shoulders down to the hands and wrists. If you have clients that are super tight and they can't bring their arms into neutral, never mind external rotation, just into that neutral place because everything is so tight, they're out in here, start to pay attention to that when they're in the quadruped position. So when we go down into hands and knees, and I'll do this face on so you can see what's happening with my upper body. So first things first is get them to send their middle finger straight forward. And most people spend a lot of time in flexion with all the texting and typing and things that we do these days. Hands look like this instead of being able to go into any kind of extension. So if you have someone who's got super tight hands, have them place their hands on the ground and just start to work on getting the hands to not be flexed, right? To let the joints relax and have, you can probably teach them some exercises to go into extension. So that's number one. And number two is check out what's happening with the arm bones, right? Most people, if they're extremely internally rotated, they'll hang out here and then lock the arms and drop the shoulders. And this is what their quadruped ends up looking like with the head in a slight extra extension, which is not good for any of the joints. So this position, you could probably hang out here for quite some time and just not really work in the muscles. So if you take the arms, or if your clients can take their arms into external rotation, bringing the pit to face the same direction as the middle finger, and then slightly bend the elbows. And when you do that, make sure that the shoulders don't drift back. Right? So lots of times I'll say, bend your elbows and you see this happen. Or you see the shoulders drop and they're dropping into the shoulder joints. You want to maintain a nice length and engagement of the rhomboids, arms facing forward, and elbows bent with the shoulders over the wrists. And then you can have them do some rhomboid push-ups in this position keeping the elbow slightly bent so you are working muscularly. And after 10 or so rhomboid push-ups in this position and you do a couple of little tricep dips at the same time, you'll start to feel that it's a lot more work than hanging out with those elbows in a super locked position and going up and down and maybe thrusting the ribs in and out. This is what a lot of rhomboid push-ups end up looking like. So think Elbow slightly bent, so you're bypassing hanging out in the joints, working on the hand position as well to stop getting those hands to be so tight, and then working on the rhomboid push-up, or whatever you like to call that, and down into the tricep push-ups as well, so that we're just not hanging out in the joints. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.